much, much, much later. get the draw if you've been here you obviously get it by now i go by the name of kamahela mama Bolo. if you are new to the channel welcome 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 you are definitely going to love us please do like comment and subscribe but if you are a regular decula my number one <laughs> i see you i notice you i see you you are noticed you are definitely noticed today is the um, what is the date today? What is the date today? It's the 12th, the 12th of July. And it's two days after my birthday. Two days after my birthday and the birthday was just amazing. My birthday celebration was amazing. My daughter's birthday celebration was amazing. I will try um, to put on a clip or a video that we took. We didn't do anything special for her. She was turning one. Um, we didn't do anything special for her. We just bought a cake and we did everything at home. And same applies to myself. I don't do anything special. I just went out with a friend and we had... Um, lunch and i came back home oh i took peanut to school um pardon that i took her to the clinic on my birthday i know right so to, i'm supposed to be doing an environmental cleansing video today on the um, a part two a part two of the environmental cleansing i already took a clip of what i do after i've done everything after i've done cleaning my environment by environment i mean obviously my house my ancestral house which is in Miami, my bedroom and i you know i clean it out so i did i took a clip of what i do after i've done cleaning especially most especially in Dumbe. i took a clip of what i do afterwards and that probably be okay let me let me not get ahead of myself right so this is going to be more of a a talking environmental part two um video so what i also did um i took out my old clothes my old clothes that were small, I took them out. I took out clothes that were that I no longer wore, you know, that I that I emotionally and physically and also mentally outgrew. Like clothes that I used to wear probably three years ago, four years ago. I took them out because I outgrew them. Not not only by size, but also with my personality and my mentality and my current state in life and i also um took out the the stuff that i got from my ex-mother-in-law and my my ex-boyfriend or my ex whatever my, my current baby daddy i don't like calling him that but yeah um i got rid of the stuff i only kept the garden because it's cold i'll get rid of it Um, right now I have what doing it guys it's cold so I just kept it I'll get rid of it summertime right now uh I can't I can't so I got rid of every anything that anyone gave me that um that particular person is no longer 
part of my life anymore which is ex friends anything that i got from my my friends except for the gifts that i got from them um but other stuff like i i, I, I can't mention here but other stuff i got i got rid of them you know i got rid of those stuff because she's no longer part of my life anymore um or they as a matter of fact they are no longer part of my life anymore so i also did that environmental cleaning i took it that deep you know I, I took out things that i've got from people that are no longer part of my life anymore it is a necessity guys to clean your environment physically mentally spiritually all the colors that you can man you can think of whether the person is deceased whether the person is still in your life but playing games or whether the person is you know you guys broke up or you guys are no longer friends you know um or you guys don't get along anymore you have to get rid of the energy that kind of energy inside your house or inside your home you don't need that kind of energy anymore so i got rid of everything the clothes i got rid of them the gifts and i, I got rid of the gifts i got rid of the shoes i got rid of some of the things that i took that belonged to him if he wants them back i, I really don't care i, I i'm sorry to her mean but i don't you know um fortunately for me i can't get rid of my daughter <laughs> But yeah, I got rid of everything. That's how deep I clean. And I also did, I am continuously doing my mental cleansing, meaning I'm getting rid, I can't obviously get rid of the memories, but I am getting rid of any type of connection that I have with him whether it's soul tie whether it's spiritual spiritual ties whether it's emotional ties not specifically him but everyone that is no longer part of my life you know so i got rid of spiritual ties i got rid of mental ties physical ties emotional ties um any type of ties i got rid of them um I, I reached a chapter in my life where I'm choosing myself over everyone else. I am tired of being a people pleaser and the minute you reject someone's offer or the minute you say no, they start showing you their true colors. I realized that most of the people I kept in my life they are people that just like hearing me say yes all the time and the minute i start saying no that's when a person will break up with me that's when a person would distance himself from me that's when a person would stop texting that's when a person would literally forget my birthday because i said no so i have finally made a decision of me standing my ground and saying no and if you want to leave gladly do so and there is a person that i allowed back into my life which i don't regret because that person came with lessons but i am never accepting anyone in my life ever again if you leave stay right where you're going don't come back yeah if you believe the grass is greener on the other side stay there don't come here this grass is not greener that's the reason why you left so don't come back if you buy why money come so i i cleansed everyone out of my life literally i cleansed literally everyone out of my life i started deleting contacts that don't do any value or contact to that i just filling up my phone storage for nothing i started distancing myself from people that i outgrew or basically that outgrew me i started 
I started distancing myself from people that are just not filling my cup any more in any way I'm done I'm done with being a people pleaser I am done with being a yes sir and a yes no ma'am type of people I am done seeking validation from the wrong people because I think I finally learned that a friend today is an enemy tomorrow and um i just i'm, I'm just done I'm, I'm just solemnly perfectly done so i did an environmental cleansing that took me that deep right and i did the i did the unties i untied everything spiritually i removed everyone spiritually i cleansed myself spiritually i cleansed myself mentally I cleansed myself um, even emotionally you know I forgave people that I know don't deserve my forgiveness but I do I do forgive you I do forgive you you know yourself you know what you did and I do forgive you you know and I'm not angry with you and I still love you but the difference I love you from the distance I don't want you near me you know um, I, I forgave people I'll, 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 I wish I could mention what what kind of relationships they had with me but I feel like it's going to be bizarre for me to do that so I'll, they'll, they know themselves they know who they are you know um, I, I do forgive you all from the bottom of my heart you know and um, most importantly I can proudly say I forgive the father of my child I almost I almost I'm sorry guys I'm really sorry please do forgive me but yeah um I can proudly say I forgive him and I do still have him but from a distance from from a distance because Okay, let's let's leave the part, but um, let's just simply say I have finally noticed the people that will just take, 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 and when you finally refuse to 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 keep on giving, they lash out and they leave, and that. I finally learned that there are people, there are leeches that will keep on sucking the blood and the life out of you. And when you finally remove that leech and you tell it to stop, it goes and it leeches someone else. And I am blessed. I, I thank God and I thank my ancestors each and every single day when I wake up. And I'm like, thank you for saving me from that leech that kept so that kept on leeching and leeching and leeching thank you from saving me from that taker that kept on taking but never gave or if they gave they limited what they gave you they gave you enough basically breadcrumbing you they gave you enough so that you can return and crave for more i don't want to open a bible and become a lecturer and 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 but that is what i have been doing lately and has it been working for me as you guys can see you guys can see you guys can see it has been working for me perfectly well i am finally in my in my me era <laughs> i am finally in my me era um or era i finally chose myself i finally um i chose myself and I'm, I'm i'm still continuing to choose myself i no longer have time for things that are just gonna take from me i don't want to call it things people that are just gonna take from me i am tired of giving and of receiving one fumble Und es
Post clock, Kapurito finished. Hopefully, one fumble at the score because people, <laughs> people, people, hey, people, people, people will lead you. <laughs> people go drink you, people go eat, go go eat the life out of you. And they will not have mercy, they will not have remorse, and they will not have any regrets. They just want you to lose yourself. And if you are like me, and you will keep on giving, even when you see that you're not supposed to give, and you end up losing yourself like me, oh. Me, oh. And you, you don't, you know when you, when, you, when you do that, you have to have the backbone of coming back and coming back even better. Come back better, come back better, come back bougie. You know, come back, come back with the verb. Come back with the crack. You understand? And just when you come back, just tell them, hi, I'm back. Yes, I fell. But I got up, I dusted myself, and I'm back. And the way I am so bad, I am no longer the child that you took and you used. I am now a woman. I'm now a mother. I was telling somebody, uh, I think last week, that and I, I was a child. You know, when most people did what they did, I was a child. But now I got both. And, and I was like... I was like to him, I'm even afraid to say it, but figuratively I got balls. And I was like, no, baby, you gotta say it. You gotta say it, you got balls. You know? And I am saying it, I got, and now I got balls. You see that child that they took, um, that child they took advantage of, the child they took, um, they used, that child that they manipulated, that child they they used narcissistic tactics on that child that um there was a villain because that particular person or those particular people they saw themselves as, as victims that child that was um naive that child that was ignorant that child that saw all the red flags but ignore it because that child saw the goodness or the good person in you. People will, will act like victims. Hey, but don't guys. That child they took for granted. That child that they took a kindness for. That child that that loved unconditionally. That child that had pure intention. That child that they promised and because she was naive, because she was still stupid, she believed. That child that they stepped all over and they left their footprints on. That child they breadcrumbed. That child they gaslighted. That child they guess walled. That child the monkey swanged on. That child you grew into me. A woman. A mother. I grew into a woman. I grew into a mother. I don't know if you guys um watched the story time of who's the toxic one or was I the toxic one? I don't remember the title exactly. See, I, I realized that I was not the toxic one. I was not the toxic People are bruised. <laughs> People are hurt. People are not healing. They just bury the pain and they move. And burying the pain and healing from the pain those are two different things and the outcomes are going to be different. People are bruised and they are not healing. They are taking the pain and they keep on building pain upon pain upon pain upon pain upon pain upon pain and they keep on seeing themselves as victims. Meanwhile, this person did that 
this person did that, this person did that. They are victims. But what did you do? And what did you what did you plan? What is your plan on dealing about it? Because putting pain upon pain, building a tower of pain, it's not healing. Instead, it's like a person who don't have faith. There's something wrong with you if you don't have faith. For real. Like, not even one. You know? And at first, I thought, oh, it's cute. You know, I'm no friends. All to myself. And now, what? No. You know that? And it's, it's not only within them, but it's the childhood traumas. It's the the past experience whether from relationships whether from um you know other other sources of interaction or communication but people are bruised and people don't heal from pains they actually bury pain upon pain right? and i i think that is one thing that that i told myself no sisi we are going to heal from the pain because it's like you are holding yourself back from actually healing the reason why people are not healing is because they don't want to heal they don't want to heal because if a person wanted to heal they would heal understand so healing those are two different things and the outcomes are always different and that's well that's the reason why most of the time people find themselves lonely People find themselves isolated. People, you they find themselves moving from one relationship to the next and moving because that person doesn't have it in them to understand that a challenge is there to mend a relationship. A challenge is there to build you guys closer. A challenge is there to show you that you're not each other's enemy, but you are each other's protectors. I protect you, you protect me. The minute little Mali Bali challenge. Mutushu. Ujafat. I'm not saying I'm innocent. But I sat down and I, and I observed for like 2013, 2014, for two years. For two years. And I can proudly say today that I was not toxic. They were toxic. The way the the way they spoke, the way they initiated conversations, the way they acted innocent, the way they spoke about themselves, the way they spoke about other people. I think that was supposed to be my red flag from the beginning to listen how they spoke about other people. But yeah, I'm not here to, 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 to talk about that. But the whole idea is environmental cleansing is very important. And it's not something that you do only physically as like cleaning your household or your war room or your prayer room. It's something that you have to do within you. And we also have um, sexual cleansing whereby you're breaking the soul ties and your connection with Mm-hmm. You know, with the pata pata, um, any type of connection with, the, with those people, with a particular person in particular. Um, we have sexual detox. I don't even know if I can use the term sexual here. Yeah. Oh Let's see. And that's right. We do have to detox our root chakra. I think that makes much more sense. We do have to detox our root chakra, right? so this is the part two that i wanted to um go through very quickly and i don't want to spend a lot of time just talking 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 so i i bought clothes from from pick and pay clothing and i also bought clothes from Ackermans. Uh, I bought a few things from Ackermans. 
I don't know if I'll be able to to feed this on because I don't want this video to be long. But I'll mix everything. It's fine. I'll mix the vlog. I don't want I don't want long vlogs. I bought these. Uh, I bought these by two for one fifty. Um, this is the size. Um, I think this is the normal price, and this is the size, three XL, and. I just I just love these. I just love these. I make sure that I buy them every time I go to Mr. Price. Uh, we can pay clothing, and I bought um, these for peanuts. They came in two. I think it was by two for for fifty bucks. If I'm not lying, I just bought I just bought her this one, and she wore the other one not so long ago. It's a it's a twelve. 12 to 18 months i think you guys can still find these i bought them like a few few weeks yeah, a few weeks ago and then this is uh the same thing but a different color by two 150 so i took a i took a black and a gray i had um is it a black yeah i think it's a black it's it is black I don't know if you guys can see, but it doesn't want to focus. I don't know why, but it's black, and this one is obviously gray. This one is gray. Same size. Three XL. Yeah. This is a three XL. Yeah. And then I bought these body suits. You could see again. Yeah. I bought these uh the body suit. It was take two and save twenty rand. Um, it's extra, it's extra large. It's extra large. It's more like a, a Polanyi uh, type of type of thing. And then I also got it in white. I also got it in white. I bought the two. I bought the this one is black. Yeah? I bought, a, I bought a black one and I bought a white one and but this one I think I took it in a in a bigger size yeah it's a 2xl so that one is an extra large this one is a is a 2xl it's one in the same thing it's a body suit I want to try them on because I haven't tried them on but I, I it feels like the material isn't the same I feel like the material isn't I f this one feels a bit lighter and this one feels a bit a bit um but it's it's one and the same thing Mara material I I promise you guys the materials are not the same so I have to undo my hair. Let's fit. Let's fit these on, and then we can continue. Let's just fit these on quickly, and then we can decide what we do from here. Do we cut the vlog from here and I post it today or tomorrow? Or we continue with the vlog, but I haven't posted this week, so I'm gonna have to take it out this week. So, and we got right, my loves. So, this 
so this is how this one looks like and looks like this I love it for moi I love it for me it's lengthy it's a bit tight you know um, it's a bit tight and I think it's a you guys can see that it's a bit of a a see-through kind of kind of thing but I love it yeah? love it it's not too bad this is the fruit bar <laughs> but I love it yeah I love it let's try second one so the materials are definitely not the same like I said before but I love I love this this size this is a bigger size this is a double XL I love this size more than the black one I love the size more than the black one it's it's nice I love it it's comfortable it's stretchy very stretchy even that one is stretchy but the cotton this one I think it also kind of shows but you're gonna have to do yeah I like them okay my last this is the legging the grey one um this is how it fits me this is how it fits <laughs> so yeah this is how this one fits moi um the mommy pouch is pouching the nyash is giving the, the slices are sliding the girl is thick the, the milk bars are milking <laughs> and it's, it's this long this long so i'm not gonna wear the black one because it is the same size just different colors but yeah guys my last this is how we are oh i forgot to show you guys what else i bought from from Ackermans. so i bought these They come in a. I put this in a what? So, two XL. Two XL. Um. They were also on on sale. I bought this one with an XL and these one they came out in two I, I wore only one already and they are small like they are small I feel like super tight so I had to I have to give my mom and then I bought this one in an XL It's more like um it's more like a, a thingy um a, a pad a period period panty or period underwear I don't know what they call it but it's like that and then this one it's an it's an, it's, an, it's, an, it's an extra large um goes hand in hand with this one. And then this one, I am currently wearing the the one that it came up with. I think it came out in in a navy blue. Came out in a navy blue. It's like a period pad. It has like a yeah period panty. Period panty. So um, 
about those and then I was kind of skeptical about showing them here but I believe you can still get them at Ackermans they are still on sale if I am not lying please don't come here and be like you really you might and you might not same thing as the legging same thing as the the tight yes you guys okay when you need to get a tripod or a ring light because why because why what is that oh it's the clothes that i took out from the wardrobe and the blanket i was almost scared but what is what is what is going on there but we um I think we are gonna cut the vlog here and we are yeah I think we are gonna leave the vlog here and we are gonna be anyway I really hope you learned something from the environmental cleansing video clip and this one I really hope that you watched it and you went through it and I also hope that you will learn something from my phone please not fall um, I hope you are also have learned something from this one if you do want me to make a little bit of a more detailed video focusing on one topic please do inform me and if you would like me to show you how to untie soul ties please do tell me i will be i don't mind doing a video and if you want to go if you want to know how i went about cleansing myself or um you know healing myself mentally and emotionally do tell me i will explain in details it's not about honestly belief it's not about christianity it's not about Obunkoma. it's not about muslims it's not about jews it's just about being with self-contamination being self-contented and you know being willing to forgive people that did you wrong and still acted like you did them wrong um being able to forgive people that um that took you for a fool you know being able to to forgive people that used you that played you um that that took joy in hurting you and um watching you crumble down you know people that don't want you to stand up for yourself people that took you for granted people that used you um forgiving people that promised you nothing but a lie you know you're not alone and you're not stupid you know um and you were not stupid you were just vulnerable they got you at a, a, a weak time um or they get they got you at a time when you needed that kind of attention and you know that's how they, they got you because libona they can see you know what if this person was in their right state of mind they were going to reject me or they were going to turn me down and i can proudly say that if i was in a state of mind that i am today i was clearly and proudly going to reject him or them you know um but because I was vulnerable and put my pressure in me and I needed what I needed at that time, you know, um being killed person for three years, I initiated for three years and he was available immediately when I got out. So it was a moment of weakness, it was a moment of excitement, it was a moment of a lot of moments and I was I think I was twenty, twenty one and you know, he saw an opportunity. You know, um, it's not only about your ex, it's not only about your ex-husband, but also your friends. You know, um, 
if if a husband can be your enemy whilst sleeping next to you if your boyfriend can be your enemy whilst sleeping next to you if your if your if your if your ex can be jealous of you and be an enemy whilst he was still sleeping with you at that time you know why wouldn't your friend be your enemy you know um so if you need me or you want me to go in more depth and speak specifically with a with a specific topic do inform me on instagram ig i was Google underscores connect and do comment um, and I will try and leave my email address and you can send me an email anytime of the day and I will take a clip. I am thinking of making a video of how I found out that I had to go and initiate or I had a calling and my initiation journey. I think I've healed from it. I can now talk about it. I don't know but um, some topics are really still kind of like fresh with me you know um, I initiated three years ago but there are things that have been down there that still affect me mentally and emotional and deeply spiritually so even today I don't want to make a long video where I talk a lot of things and, and, and I'm gibberish and I'm all over the place but um, please do communicate with me, please do connect with me, please do talk to me. Um, if you do not get a hold of me on Instagram, you can definitely send me an email and we can take it on about that and I'm gonna try and put some Q&A um some questions i'll make a q a video and put some questions up and you guys can ask anything that you want to ask if you are on my whatsapp do send me questions on my whatsapp if you are not in any connection you can use my instagram or my email address to send the questions or even the comments honestly to send the questions to show that you've reached this far and you enjoyed and you liked the video please leave us some flower emoji on the comment section please do like please do share and do subscribe thank you for watching our videos have a lovely day have an awesome day have an awesome week have an awesome month i love you bye